sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. I've been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? I don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume McCorpo sprays on mornings. By lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I too stink of skullduggery? No, nope. you're starting to stink. Period. Hmm. <sighs> That all really should be going. Wait. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice in Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain. Procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist, thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a poem. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? 
You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. How stupid the reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there. Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make it like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, 
Wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead, or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. the heist, I take it. Must have, uh, talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Old damn city's hard. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? what I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I won't? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Hey, look. Hmm. What's this? Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? You see? Eh, more likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. 
Or maybe I ask them both. before got a good memory for faces we're closed right now need to talk to punch and judy she in her den yep take the stairs down i'll let judy know you're coming Joy toy, you need to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I just too subtle for you? Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist? Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on it. it wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Maggot's hour. Luxurious. You still need something? She might have gone back there. Said it'd be safer than here. God knows why. Clouds? What's that? It's a dollhouse. Sounds vaguely familiar. Is that where they tailor code things to your fetishes and whatnot? Client subconscious is the script. Doll stars in it. No memory of it after, though, luckily. Thank Christ for that. Wait, mean to say she's a doll? Hmm. <laughs> Saved up for that behavior chip a while, too. Ev was good. Real good. Had regulars booked up weeks in advance. Nobody lasts long in a gig like that, though. Hence the heist. Figures. Got everything I need for now. Thanks. I'll look in on the place. Wait. Um... Just let me know how she's doing. Okay? Give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not?
clubs closed. Don't you have somewhere to be? He did exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. She cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Name's V. And what? No, pleased to meet you? Hm. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. Back to our chat. I heard about you. They call you the last corpo in Pacifica. Demand's always high. It's just a matter of tweaking the supply if you get my drift. But, by the by, where'd you hear that? In a former life. Everyone's got one, huh? Gotta run. Don't waste any time! Kaku Akata, the lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then.
way I see it, the only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What if I miss this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Our sock and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corpse leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean... If Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over, cheeks spread wide. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brain dead dude drags me around a cat house on a wild whore chase. So having a grand old time. Think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Oh, hold on. You take the blow up Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? You realize personal links aren't secure, right? Could get hit with malware straight to my core, end up paying an arm and a leg for a ripper dock. We need data from your core to pair you up with the doll. Meaning a biometric scan? Just that. If anything goes wrong, you can lodge a complaint. But that's never happened. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches interesting is that normal or who can say what is normal you're clearly a unique person with unique tastes our system can handle it so who will it be angel or sky looking for evelyn parker she work here hmm give me a moment Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? 
Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. You won't find Go any use for weapons Johnny. inside. We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. I'm Sky, and you must be Vincent. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Welp. Looks like this'll be interesting. So, V, you're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Think you know me well? Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. And any for your thoughts? Had a true friend once. Now he's gone. Soon I'll be gone too. Except, won't have anyone by my side. Everything you need, you already carry inside you. You're scared, because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. 
never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different. The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change. That thought alone could save your life. I'm afraid of becoming someone else. Forgetting who I am. You're already becoming someone else. Every second of every day. Still, I feel... A connection between who I was and who I'm turning into. What you really fear? is becoming someone you don't recognize in the least. So what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is... you're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have, you go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action, going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you got a kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh... For all this... Jeez... Don't even feel like getting up. Few do. But everything has its end. Afterlife. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? I gotta say, that wasn't what I expected. I was hoping for thrills, not some gloomy soul searching debate. Look, baby. I don't decide what happens in here. Your subconscious drives everything. Hmm. Next time, remind me to tell my subconscious to go fuck itself. Um, just don't tell anyone about this, okay? I came here to talk to you, Skye, not some soppy algorithm. Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths. Their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. This some kind. I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you, your Eddies and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. 
Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. First, tell me what you know about Evelyn. Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Gonna just stand there or tell me a number. Eleven. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since... Um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. Motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog! I'm taking it up with you! Here, now! You got any idea who I am? This dog don't understand that I've got a right to be in this! Let's take a look, shall we? Blood. Fresh. Not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. There should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out? Wonder why. Huh. What's this? Flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. And that runner? 
Weird. At least I would hear no laments about it. It hurts. It hurts. Second floor is for VIP customers only. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. More like hard life. This place always this dead? Thought I heard a tumbleweed roll by. Dead for you. Lively for others. For me? Just right. What can I get you? Got a house special? I'll take it. 
What do you mean, exactly? Top shelf. Looking to put the edge on, not take it off. It depends what you like. Go with your gut. Surprise me. Hi! Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. You sure you're VIP? Relax. You don't need any data, don't need any deets. I'm not a customer. I'm here to talk. To you specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Which was it? Osaka or Oslo? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Ah, uh, You know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this sh shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. So why, every time, do they restart the composition?